Hey everyone, um, today we're going to do uh, a small finesse jig. It's going to be made out of craft fur uh, and is sometimes referred to as a doll fly and uh, sissy jigs. Um, this is where how craft fur comes. I like this stuff. It's a extra select craft fur. Uh, I get it from Hairline Dubbin Company. And uh, you can also get it at craft shops in longer pieces. Uh, there's a lot of different colors. I prefer two kinds, uh, extra select and one called polar fiber that really moves well in the water and it, to work with it is a little tough uh, once until you get used to it because it has a lot of under fur in it. But uh, let's get started here. We're going to use white 210 denier flat wax nylon thread and as you could tell I cut a, a groove out and that's to keep my uh, thread from sliding down the collar. Now on this one I only want to put a couple wraps. I don't want a big thread base because uh, I'm going to put crystal flash in first and I'm using two different colors here. Uh, we got gray ghost and UV gray, which looks like purple when the light hits it. Now I'm going to have this that it comes out. I don't want this jig to be more than two and a half inches long. So I'm going to let it come out the back. And just from memory, uh, I know we're two and a half, close to two and a half inches approximately it is. So that looks pretty good. And of course, I fold it over to tie it in that way. Uh, it doesn't pull out. Trim off the excess. And now my flash is in. I'm going to start here with some white craft fur. This stuff is really nice in the water. It doesn't require you. To uh, move it all move the jig a whole lot which is nice and cold water uh, it has a lot of action just sitting there believe it or not just uh, the motion of the water really moves this hair now the way I'm gonna do this is I want the ends of the crystal flash just to be beyond the end of the hair so I get it lined up It. Um, it's a lot of fuzzy sometimes with this and just because of that some people avoid it but uh, I like it uh, I think it's that good in the water that um, it doesn't need to be avoided that you should actually embrace it learn to work with it and uh, you'll be surprised that uh, your success with these jigs. I know I was when I first started trying them out. Now, I got that little bit of white tied in, and you see, and I pushed it down on the sides there, just like I would bucktail. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is tie in my next color, which is going to be this olive color. Polar Fiber calls it olive. Um, this pattern we're tying, uh, you can't really tell because of the lighting, but this is a gray with a smoke black on top. Um, this polar fiber olive is going to get mixed in with a gray. And we just line it up and trim it. What's nice, this is a fat head minnow pattern, by the way. Uh, I got ahead of myself. This olive will blend right in with the gray that's going to go on top of it. Now when I put this on, I just split the hook. Put two loose wraps. Because what I want is to blend this hair and I don't want it to be separate from uh, each other. So I want to try to blend it together. And just like bucktail, I push it down and it goes 
all the way around. It'll follow the thread. Couple securing wraps and pull that and get some of the loose ones out. Now I make sure that there's no space on each side and that looks pretty good. Now the last color I'm going to add, which is this gray. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure it off of what we already had tied in and then trim it up accordingly. In the same way with the all, if we split the hook, put a couple loose wraps. Now I want this gray to go over top and actually envelop that uh, olive color we had. Because I want the olive color to be under underneath it. Uh, that it just shows a little bit. It'll actually blend in and make the gray darker. It'll give the gray a green tint. Looks just like um, just like a fathead minnow. And that looks pretty good. So now, bring all this fur up. Oh, sorry about that. Incorporate it. And then get it tied in. Yeah, this stuff is really um, in the water to motion, so fluid. Uh, you can fish these under a float, uh, bottom bounce them, reel it in slow. This jig happens to be an 8 ounce with a size 1 hook. Uh, it's an owner 5313. Uh, a little stronger because I tend to use this with 8 and 10 pound test. Okay, now we got that. We're going to whip finish it. Two, three, four, five, six. Sorry about that. Cinch. Boy, I'm having a bad day today. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cinch. Trim. I'll put some uh, head cement on there in a little bit, but I want to show you our fat head minnow. There you have it. Real nice, real easy, and it catches fish. Give it a try and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.